Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, it's that, it's that prediction. Green Ducks oh. poll prediction. I mean, they've Steve, been good Steve before. Steve just said, guys, Steve just said he thinks the Green Ducks are going to take pole position. That I is, mean, oh. Steve is I usually... Oh, okay, so my fantasy will do really okay, bad. And, just and, fight me. and right now, I'm calling... <laughs> and at 14, so I eliminated. I'm calling right now our Limers, Snowballs, Bumblebees, and... I'm sorry, Snowballs! Kidding. Yes, and all she and all she asks. Oh, oh, oh Steve. I mean, I I have to give Steve a bit of recent. Uh, the green diamonds are definitely right. going. To, the limers are shared. Let's be honest. The limers are. We're yeah. pretty soon. Sixty seconds. Come That's on, true. Limers have yeah. it. Limers, limers are, are, are a dumpster fire. That's all I can okay, say. Okay, Steve. Limers, I did. Steve, Steve I will PayPal you ten dollars if the snowballs get eliminated. I will. But what was the last? Okay. Um, marble guy. Uh, make sure you um set it to uh set the screen to um um. Screen. No, yeah, I will, full, uh, I will full screen it when uh, after the countdown. Um, uh, all right, but so we can all see it in its full glory. I am yeah. in call right now. We're gonna have also all the, the, uh, the two times speed thing as well. Just I so am, you're always on time. I, I, I am ready to call right now. We're gonna have over 10,000 live viewers on the premiere. I'm ready to call right now. Yeah. Over 10,000 people are gonna watch There's currently, yeah. Yeah. I want to say 12,000. I want to say 12,000. You know yeah, what's funny? If like Marble Sports got to the point that like it was like. We like, we over bet everything. Like we started betting on the number of people at the <laughs> premiere. It, it, it's child friendly, man. Don't make it that way. I mean, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's gone been... up to two. Well, yeah. yeah. oh my god. Okay, so just, remember full screen, man. Full we, screen, I have man. To, wait, we have to repeat this. We have to repeat this. Yeah. Steve said that the snowballs are getting eliminated in, and in the this. Green I, I just will take can't pole. see Hello. it. Listen, I can't see I that happen. Green... Okay. I think the Green Ducks have a better chance of taking pole than the Snowballs, which were like a top three team last year, getting eliminated. I just, yeah. I, I want to see it, but I can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, okay. the only thing I'm a bit nervous for is the fact that yeah. anything could happen because it's technically yeah. just marbles. Oh, an advert. It's oh, it's it's coming. Coming. oh, I got advert. So we have an advertisement. <laughs> Oh, we have another advertisement. Don't have advertisement. Like, skip, skip it, skip it, skip it, please. JMR's got it. JMR's got a point. Skip it. Skip it. Oh, here we go. And so, that's yeah. Skip back. Piss off, Subway. No, why do we skip? We have to give JMR money. Yeah, they get money. They get money. I mean, right, they had John Oliver as sponsor. Is it too loud, too quiet, or anything? Is, is it too loud, too quiet? It was too actually loud. perfect. I think that's a little bit loud. Okay, I'll leave it up here. Yeah. I would rather have it too right, loud. I'm excited, to see. To, I'm excited to see if, if the snowballs actually get eliminated. Dude, oh I my will, god. I will pay for 10, 10 bucks if but it who, happens. Like, who it believes the Limers are going to get eliminated? I'm going to make a bold prediction on who wins the race. <laughs> it's going to be the Rangers. Rangers. I think I actually it's going to be the Cobalt. Who wins the entire event? I would say that like the entire event. I would say that, like, the entire event who do you think? Oh god. Ooh, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. One minute, guys. One minute. Here we go. I mean, if anyone thinks the Lime is going to win it, they, I, I would actually suggest the one, a side. One thing I will say. Oh, sorry. I can't. I couldn't. Like, it's hard to hear. Oh god. Okay. You know what? Folks, if, if, if Lime is to win the whole module, one thing, I'm going to run through my own place. Like, back yard. Oh, Steve, I didn't catch what you said. Wait. I can't hear I, the if, countdown. The countdown noise in the video is so high. If if Limer win the whole Marble one, I will run through my back my backyard naked. I don't want to see that. But will, will, sure. you, will you do it on video? Any of us want will to you see videotape that? that? No, I don't. Want I, that, where are we supposed to put that hop? Come on, well, wait, 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 actually, if, if granted, we, we may not want to see it, but yeah. the Limers yeah. winning yeah. Marbula yeah. One, yeah. I mean, we might just have to. Nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. No, no, pause it. Kind of adjust the volume. It's not letting me adjust it quickly. One, two, three, four. All right, we're touching. We're good. Oh, guys. You look at them go. I honestly think primary is underrated though. Uh, turn up the volume a little primary, bit. Primary, mm, I don't think they'll get eliminated. I will give you that. Uh, Season turn two. Up the volume, Marble Yeah, guy? I think primary is underrated. Uh, the volume's as high as it can go. I can try to turn it up on my computer. Is that better? Yeah, I bet. 
Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We should be able to hear it. Oh my god, it's a bit laggy now. I'm just watching it. You can also turn the volume up on Discord as well. Not the past streaming Discord. Oh, my alpha volume is up, I think. I think mine's actually perfect at times, so. Oh man. Oh, I love I love the bank turn. I'm so excited for the bank turn. Whoa, I forced him on that. Hello, everybody. I might just watch it on my computer because it's perfect at the time. Minty Mania. I love the choice. Why is the pit? It's my question. Oh, this is gonna be. Aesthetically, aesthetically, it looks really good. Um, yeah. It looks similar to last season with a couple of extra touches, which is nice. I want to see the short circuit. Oh, that graphic is gonna open. That's not a surprise. Yeah. Qualifying setup. I hope the short is nice. Twenty runners. All right. Some nice sunsets. Um, it seems like it's going to be quite a fast course. Look at the look at the downward distance. Our overall champion from the first season. Yellow one is out as well now. Oh, they're going to have two track two runners at the same time. That they said Oh, oh their head! Look at the bank turn. Oh, it's so nice. Whoa. Do you think anyone would go over the bank? Oh, oh my god. Yellow eyes. Okay, well, I'm happy. I'm happy that I picked the crazy cat size for my fantasy team. I'm happy because I support the crazy cat size. Crazy cat size are a personal favorite of mine. Yeah, same. I think the cobalts are going to win it all. Oh. oh man, dude, if, dude, if the Cobalt win it all, I'll PayPal you ten dollars. Be galactic. Well, I should be because I have Cobalt in my fantasy team. I've got my team galactic. I think the shit on. Yeah, but a lot of people did. A lot. I will say, a lot of people did opt for Cobalt in their fantasy team. Oh, galactic. Starry goes purple back there. Starry racing. Of course, they picked Starry. Wow, that's a great. Oh, thank God, I put them in my team. Oh my God! How much money? Oh, Jeez, wow, she is bad. Right. Don't worry, we still have the Limas left. Okay, so so, so so far. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yep, yeah, right, we're safe. That's great, right there. That's I mean, no, oh my. I mean, for your. Enjoyment, I guess, Steve. Uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, I, oh the God, oranges are safe. So I want, I, want to listen, I am not a mini maniac fan, so what I just saw right there makes me very happy. Yes. Okay. Uh, I I want, Dude, I want to laugh. Look, look at the look at the plus. That's two point three nine oh, over. Check out, check out, oh, 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 oh. All right, come on, Snowy. If Snowy gets eliminated, I'm... no, don't. Actually, do it. if do Snowy wins, it's got to be more impressive. Oh, oh my yeah. God. That's Snowy, get what is going on with Snowy? That's so sweet. Uh, cool. Oh my god. Oh, they're not saving time. They're not saving time at all. Oh. Okay, okay, only one okay, well, only one marble has to do worse than Snowy for me not for me not It's to just four left though. Oh, no, not four, sorry. It's just eight left. No, there's eight, there's eight left. There's eight left. There's eight left. There's eight left. Yeah, sorry, I counted. I counted for wrong. Okay, so some marbles gotta do worse. Okay, yell up it won't be yell up's a lot of good racers. Okay, I'm new. Can they claw it back at the end? Oh, oh it's still possible. <laughs> it's still possible. Where's the place? Wait, did they put Mellow Yellow up there on the? Yeah, there. Yeah, no. yeah, okay, it's just between eight and ten. Okay. Yeah. and C. All right, come on. We need a slow marble. We need a slow marble. Oceanic. Oh my God, there's no. Oh. But um, I feel Mitty Maniac times two on my fantasy team. Oh my God. Oh come on. I don't. They're want to still hooking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm enjoying. Snowy, how? Snowy, how are you doing this to me, Snowy? Go on. Go on, please, please. I am begging. I am begging. No, Steve, we want his money. Steve, uh, does you to pay you? Yes, yes, I'm good, I'm good. Yes, I'm good, yes. No! Oh, no. You weren't far off, though. Oh, you have good times, too. Steve, I gotta be honest, dude. I did not expect Snowy to step up for like that. I didn't think the Bumblebees. I, I, I want to laugh at Misty Manius, but I'm Misty Manius type steal my defense. Alright, I also want the Hazers to do well. 
Come on, Hager. Dude, that's a hey, shame. Yeah, yeah, that's Cobalt are already. Yeah, Cobalt okay. are already not doing well. I, I, yeah. I, I wish they would do uh, better. Like yeah. well, All right. Yeah. Look nine, at that, guys. Sorry, two, nine. two places, and I would have paid also, Steve. Nine, yeah. Ooh, the midnight wisp. Jesus Christ, they were. Oh, they were just about to get out. Yeah, you know what? Already not racing well. That's the problem with the crazy cat sides. They're a very inconsistent team. They'll do really well and then not do well. Come on, Oz. Come on, Rangers. All right, let's go on. I mean, I've got my team Galactic T out. <laughs> I have my six. I have my Rangers T-shirt on. Yeah. I mean, guys, I have to be. Oh, I have to be honest, guys. If you didn't put Speedy in your, um, if you didn't put the Static Speeders in your fantasy team, man, I just don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's pretty easy. First place. Of course you can put it because it's an easy way to go get a lot of points. Look at the haters. What happened? Oh, there we go. I mean, oh, uh, I, 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 I feel bad talking to you. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? What? Host Curse is back. Host Curse is back. Right. Do you know what I just realized? Yeah. I really want Crazy okay. Cat's Eyes to get pulled here. I want Crazy Cat's Eyes to get pulled. I really want Crazy Cat's Eyes to get pulled too, mainly because they're my team. Oh, do you know? Do you know what I just realized, guys? Come on, green ducks! Come on, green ducks! Who can do this? <sighs> guys, guys, you know what? Do you know what I just realized? Most of us have been in this chat for almost 15 minutes, and it has been a complete. Oh, 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 oh! oh. 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 Savage oh. Venus! One more lap! Oh, oh, Savage Venus! Oh, and they fall back. Come on. Second and third. Come on, yellow eye, get there. The yellow eye, get there. Don't, Don't let Savage Speed just catch you. Come on. Actually, there. I've got Savage Speed, uh, so I think, what am I on about? Oh, Savage Speed is Guys, do you ever think we're gonna have a live performance at the opening of any event ever on, in the Marvel one? I'm thinking that in the future there will be uh, MarvelCon 2025 will be live Marvel Sports. <laughs> oh, yeah. With live fans, with the opening yeah, from that would be so good. Yeah. with the opening having like. Okay, so Hayes is now top of the league. Yeah, because yes. they get one point mm. for finishing for qualifying the pole. Oh, um, no, that's not good. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Ooh. Uh, I'm going to end the stream. I'm, gonna... I'm not going to end it. I'm not going to end it. I am very, very proud of my Hayden boys. I'm I, I gotta say, I, I, I love the new qualifying format. I really do love the new qualifying yeah. format. It's, it's awesome. I'm, I'm yeah, quite proud of Team Galactic. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the ninth isn't bad. I'm happy with I'm, it's not a bad I'm, talk. Now, here's the thing. Now, I think this track is going to be a track where there's going to be a lot of passing. Qualifying there is not will be a lot of yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially, you can, I, mean, I mean, yeah, you can kind of see in the qualifiers how often there was passing. Um, even in the two, the, we saw two, there were races that were two laps in those qualifiers. And yeah. you, you saw a lot of moving around. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a very hectic race it's but the gonna. track is made for that a lot of turns a lot of slight turns a couple hairpins you have that bank turn and then you yeah, have that long straight of speed where like depending on how you enter it you're really going to get <coughs> a if lot of speed the, through that get the bank yeah. turn right on the final i think if the, ba if the bank mm -hmm. turn if i think the bank turn is nothing. like the most important thing i think like if you can get into the bank turn really well you can like finish a lap really well yeah if what you're fast yeah you have to keep I in mind that the uh, bank turn is the most important part. <laughs> the bank oh, turn. Getting into too. that um actual like getting onto the belt was really important because this track is so small. Like look yeah. at Speedy, he had it and then lost it all because of that yeah. one thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's about being well, consistent, speedy, not being quick. You have to, slow. you have to be fast into the bank turn because mm -hmm. if you're not fast and then you let you because the bank turn obviously you're. It's curved it downwards it towards the center of it. So if you're not fast enough into it, you're gonna ram you're gonna ram into that uh, barrier on the near yeah. side, yeah. and you're gonna lose a lot of speed that way. So exactly. you, that's, no, you must be fast long. into there, or I mean, you're gonna lose I, out all the possible advantage. Yeah, on the and you're also gonna lose speed on the way out. I, 
lot of Ben Stiller could, could make or break the race yeah. at the end of the day. Oh, it's gonna make or break. Yeah. We yeah. can't come in no, too quick no, because no. it might wait, be a possibility wait, wait. of can, getting can too we, high. Can we? You guys Maybe. remember when um, the Mini Maniacs and that one qualifying Mini Maniacs Raspberry Racers, right? And Mini Maniacs obviously were very slow through that. But then the Raspberry yeah. Racers, did you notice how fast they yeah. came out of that yeah, thing? Yeah, that. That's that what insane. I'm talking yeah. about. It was so much eye. speed. You Look couldn't even, like, eye. see. Yeah, like, especially yellow. It was so eye. fast. Yeah. 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 I think so. Yeah, and, like don't forget, and, well, and don't forget the angle then. Don't forget angle then, too. Yeah, because here's the thing. Speedy and yellow eye. Speedy it's and Yellow Eye were first uh, and second. Turn. The fact that Yellow Eye, like, Yellow Eye doesn't look faster comparatively, but, but it is because they were faster than the, than, than, uh, the second place because they were first and they, and those two went first and second, uh, going into those race offs. Yeah. Like, honestly, I really like Yellow Eye and. I really like Smoggy, Yellow Eye, and Speedy here. Well, I like here. Here's what I'll say. I like Speedy here. I I have to I have to disagree with Yellow Eye. The only reason I have to disagree with Yellow Eye is that I just feel when I watch the crazy cat's eyes perform across when you, there's 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 been Marbula One type racing events that I've seen them perform in, and yeah. also just uh, your average you know Marble League events. Mm -hmm. One thing that always sticks out to me at the Crazy Cat Size is they are a team that even a, in, within the same event are just a very inconsistent team. And I love yeah. the Crazy Cat Size. They are a role on my name right now. Yeah. But I really, I always feel the Crazy Cat Size are like this like hit or miss type of team yeah. where they're going to come out and grab the lead and just hold the first place the whole time or they're going to be that team that loses, goes from second place down to like 17th in like 10 seconds. Yeah. So you don't know what you're going to get with them. I mean, yeah. I in other words, think they're, 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 they're not very consistent. That's why. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. from wow. Angry Fish Mobile. Yeah. And then, no, no, they all consistent think, in the fact that they're not the time, please. Watch out for here, I think a team that we have to watch out for here is uh, if we go... I would say Galactic. Standing. Because mm. Galactic, oh, I, I know, I know, it's yeah, gonna be, it's yeah. gonna sound biased because I'm actually wearing the T-shirt, but no. they always <laughs> are consistent <laughs> when it comes to racing. That's nice. They're yeah, always like, consistent. Galactic like qualified second at the Savage Speedway, and yeah, and like if they can yeah. qualify at least decently well, I think they can do really well. Yeah, they won two last time. The, nearly every like, gold so medal they have I'm is in the standings here. Races. I think Ooh. the, I think like, I think Snowy and C could, could really move up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And Gigantics have proven in Marble League 2020 that they are fast when it comes to this kind of stuff. Yeah, and Galactic they proved are, they were consistent. Yeah, they got like 17, when, 15, when I'm worried about, I'm worried with the Oceanics. Yeah, I'm they're worried. Be because yeah. the Oceanics are a team that often, like, they're kind of like, okay, so like, when I think about the Crazy Cat Size, right, I think of them as a really good team who's inconsistent, so they always finish like seventh. The Oceanics yeah. to me are an inconsistent team who's mediocre. So yeah. it's like Crazy Cat mm. Size, but worse. So, yeah. I use, so I feel like the, I feel like either going to come out like, strong or they're going to get caught in the together. middle of the pack and yeah. just, just yeah. not be yeah. able to get out of there. In my opinion, I, I like, in my opinion, feeling, Oceanics are uh, you know, the half of Marble League 2020 might have changed it, it, this because um, like in 2018 they had this huge chemistry and everything they had this chemistry and it all got like it all got thrown off with uh 2019 and then in 2020 like it it kind of there was kind of some friction and then and then in the back half once they got to those speed events like uh they took off they got three medals in like four events yeah mm -hmm. and then i think a team i think one that i'm like of course um host curse right here yeah uh, yeah that's not that's not i mean very good but, but they should consider like, with all the races i actually though. really like, like my uh, opinion like um oceanics are a mediocre inconsistent mediocre team with five flashes of brilliance they are yeah. they are they are essentially the chaotic good of the market yeah because going. they if when they turn it on it's amazing to watch but when they're just bad it's just horrible yeah because I mean, they are, they are, they yeah. There isn't a wall to section, so it might be fine. It's very, it's very, wait, it's very difficult. But wait, I, guys, can I get I can I get y'all's opinion on something real quick? Yeah, so sure. I'm in, you know, I'm I'm in the normal fantasy league, but I'm also in this like private one, which is like, um, it's just eight people, and like we, what happened is we drafted 
three marbles, specific marbles, and then two teams, and we only get to put one team and two marbles in the lineup each week. Yeah. So I, oh. I drafted, okay, I'll tell you who I drafted. I drafted Speedy, Mallard, Snowy, Hazers, and Arrangers. I was thinking for lineup one for this for tomorrow's race, I'm going to go Speedy, Mallard, and Hazers. What do you guys think about that? Hey, well, yeah. there, here's something to consider. This track is 23 laps for the actual official race. Yeah. So that's something to consider. It's 23 laps. So who's going to be the endurance racer here? Yeah. That's true. And I would yeah. uh, see that's see, that's a good point, and that's why I say Yellow Eye is not really someone I choose because yeah. and no. when I think it, Yellow Eye is mm. twenty, the way I see it is Yellow Eye has twenty three laps to mess up. Okay, yeah. oh. as as opposed you know to Speedy, Speedy has twenty three laps Prim to gonna win build this. a bigger lead. I think it's between Prim and Starry. Prim and Starry, right yeah, there. Yeah, Starry. They're yeah. directly in the middle yep. of the lineup. They're going. They are going to go. Yeah. Through. And we need and to remember the story. I honestly oh, think C yeah. will do well as well because because I think I think I think the Oceanics are very fast and I and I honestly think this is a fast fast course. Yeah. And we need to quite a fast. And we need to yeah. 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 And the distance like, between the top of the course and the bottom is a lot. There's a lot of downward motion in this course. Yeah. yeah. And we also, yeah. I mean, also like, remember, and oh, I think Snowy, yeah. Snowy could definitely do better. Yeah, he could. I think this now, is also a very chaotic Waspy. course as well. Now, I yeah. think, I think that Snowy kind of will edgy. just have a bad race. Now, I think, yeah. now, oh, now, God. I think we might be overlooking Bumble here, though. Yeah, yeah. We that's might oh, God. Justin, guys, I, only thing, only thing I've ever seen Bumble do well is high jump. That's all I'll give the yeah. Bumble beast. Yeah. Yeah, no, guys, I'm looking that. over comments uh, on Reddit. I no one uh, I'm, I'm looking I over uh, Reddit comments on the you know discussion thread about qualifying, and all I see is hosters, 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 hosters. Yeah, yeah, and, but it's like, is it really a thing? Because the hosters now, is like, I wait, host, wait, no, 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 wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Because Wait, people are not people are up. not saying host curse right. They now. are. They can't be. They I mean, Minty Mainex who finished last. So clear yeah. At the back, just saying. They have one and a half seconds clear. So wait, 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 wait. Yeah. But wait, what about Galactic no, in, in this year's Marvel Yeah, that's, that's 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 that disproves all host curse. No, because Galactic, yeah, even like, though they were consistent, only had one member, and that was just an excuse for when the Oceanics sucked. Yeah. Yeah, but guys, it could. That, the Galactic Why is everybody overlooking normal. Prim? Yeah, Prim, Prim is doing well. L listen, listen, I have I have to see a me. I have to see more of Prim before I before I give you Prim because like we... Prim is I just haven't seen enough of Prim. I, but we to be fair, Prim did really well last year in Marbula. Yeah. Yeah. I say last year in Marbula One. Mar um, Prim basically carried um, Team Primary if, because... if they had if they didn't have Mary, Team Primary could have. Could have won the league. Yeah, if, like, if, yeah. Prim was if, so close to. Yeah, the league. same yeah. for the snow. For the same for the snowball. Snow, same snow with snow carried the snowballs, but um, the the teammate did not. I mean, like there 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 were actually a good few teams where you had one marble who was pretty much doing it all, yeah. um, and then one marble who didn't have it. I mean, yeah, it's like and those are the teams yeah. that adjust to the roster. It's I mean, like being Prim a star playing in the shit team. Five teams individually. If, if yeah. Prim's so I honestly think. I honestly think if one get in. If the Cobalts had gotten in, I would really like them because they can't, because they do have endurance. Yeah. Mm. They have precision, they have endurance, and they have speed. Yeah. Which is everything. But with Marbula 1, yeah. you have the, like, I think, straight I out think as well. Pressure. Yeah. I think maybe the pressure got to the Cobalts. Probably. I think maybe it was. It yeah. Was, I, I, I think, was, I think I, yeah, they don't have enough experience against. I mean, come yeah, on. I mean, they Cobalts don't. out there. They, I'm Cobalts I'm out I'm there I'm on the track. They look to the right. They see Speedy. I mean, they can't be feeling good. I mean, no, they can't. How are they gonna compete? Yeah, but it's like right? Speedy, of course, has three gold medals from racing events. But it's like he still has fact, been fact, the main Speedy, racer. In fact, the Cobalt got second. Uh, Azure got second in the water race. The thing is that the Cobalt and, and I think in... the one that beat and I think the one that beat Azure was actually Speedy. In the water events. Well, this the problem, this yeah, summer it the will definitely was in twenty sixteen. Oh, sixteen. Yeah, that's the possible. The came in with very high expectations. But it's like like everyone so was predicting them to think, do like, very I well. Think, no, now, I, can, I think I think the marble that exactly actually is going thing. down in this is Clementine. Clementine. I, I actually I don't really trust Clementine here. Yeah. I don't trust him as well. Yeah, I, I don't either. Exactly. I don't think I, anyone I, should I, I don't know if after a short I, circuit in midnight. I don't know about Razzie either. Razzie, I mean, Razzie seems really. 
I think the cob I think the jungle jumpers went down the same path the cobalts did. Basically, they just the pressure got to them. That's what yeah, they yeah. do I as mean, well. Can we all talk about the fact that Limus didn't go out? I think yeah, also yeah. yeah, Limus is P12. I honestly thought they're gonna show. I am not think they're gonna be lost. But I really the, thought they were gonna be lost. I'm the only issue though, that they came P12. I wanted them to miss. Yeah, but, but I mean, losing P12 is a very positive experience for them after having. A very horrible season. That P12 is very... Yeah, I don't really care about Lime Lord here, but honestly, I think... I think the... I think... I think the marbles that are... That are gonna go up the most are C, Snowy, Starry, and Fran. I see Snowy, I see Snowy, I see Starry, but I don't see C. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just don't think... I, don't think, I think what's going to happen, Oceanic is going to go out first. No, actually, you know, what, you know what I think is going to go really far? I think, you know who I think is going to really far? I think I thought, Wasp. I think Wasp is going to go really far. Didn't Prim out? Didn't, I mean, isn't Prim already eliminated? I mean, no, 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 Wasp has every possibility to go higher, but the issue is, is he's going to do it. I mean, if we guys, if we remember, uh, even though the Min Midnight West were good shock at the start either. of the last event in Marble shock. League. No. I think Shock will fall down. Yeah. But Momo, yeah. I don't trust either. We need to remember. Shock and Momo, I just don't trust. I'm I Clementine. Well, well, I think mm, Momo, I know, Momo. Razzy is a very interesting. Razzy is a very mm. interesting. Sponsored. Yeah, but it's like, we need to remember that the Midnight Wisps. Like they are a good team, so they could come oh, quite yeah, high. You know, that that's that's what I was gonna say. I think Waspy's gonna have a really good race tomorrow. I think they're yeah. gonna I think it, I, I think, think Waspy it... definitely does need a definitely yeah. does want a good race. I think because... a good race for the for the Midnight West, even getting like something like seventh or sixth, that mm -hmm. is a win for them. Yeah, they and I think they will take that into week two. Yeah, yeah. Their standards is top maybe. seven, so they have t nine places to go up so it's easy for them to yeah. get higher but, but teams like I, for I example trust, i actually think c will do well i don't think yeah. i mean i mean he was the part of the team that knocked out was it the savage now, speeders in yeah, the water and they have dealt with pressure now yeah. i don't know i mean I they, they, they of course have then dealt with the pressure of the oceanics so high, but yeah. i think they but i think they might figure it out i think they will figure it out on the racetrack yeah i mean and we, they've already had something like this as well. I think they will. I think they will figure it out on the racetrack. But, like it's sea and ocean. Will. Like sea mm -hmm. and ocean are. Yeah. Well, very well fast. keep in mind the current uh, five meter record holder is C. C yeah. is currently the five True. meter dash. Record I mean the the. the, the five five meter meter dash. Dash. I mean the track is longer than five meters. So. I would be I would be careful to extrapolate five meter dash to uh, yeah. Marbula yeah. One no. because because listen know. not only not only in Marbula One do you have to deal with a bunch of different types of curves and things like that but you yeah. but five meter dash takes away all marble collision and collisions mm. between the marbles on the course is one of the, the most yeah, but, uh, race affecting actions on the course if you if you did a Marbula One race and you take away all um, collisions, then Yellow Eye wins. Because honestly, Yellow Eye is a really good single racer. You saw him yeah. today, yeah. but he's a yeah. terrible racer when he gets when he starts colliding with the yeah, marbles. Like, so, like, I think it's something to consider. We need, we need to have tough marbles. Yeah. Like that's why, for example, uh, I don't know about Razzy I'll, here. I'll Razzy, go. Uh, I think Razzy yeah, Razzy is not going to do well. Be the thing is okay, well. you know what? You I, know, think I can Razzy. say one thing right now, folks. Um, watch the bank turn tomorrow. It's gonna be it's gonna be absolute chaos in first lap in the bank turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm gonna see so many overtakes there. I'm telling you, there's gonna be, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So when, like, when it comes where to where people are gonna place approximately, yeah. like around where people are gonna place, it's gonna be decided on the first lap. Yeah. I think that there might actually be. Uh, wait, remember the the race that there was actually a stoppage in those. Yeah, yeah, lost. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Race number yeah, seven. Yeah. I say, right? It was one of those. If you have that same scenario with. The Minty Maniacs bank, it will, will, will probably happen because if you stop there, it's just, it's just gonna be a stop and go. If someone rams into you, they're stopped. For the rest yeah, of you. but stopped. I think the issue now is that yeah, it's, I honestly stop think. It. Also, here's what I think. I think I'm also shock. I, 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 I don't I trust shock now. Later. Shock could surprise us here. Yeah. Shock could definitely su surprise us here, mm. but I I honestly don't think. Yeah, I the think thing, the thing with the now, I think oh, the other thing is like I really trust Starry here. I really like I Starry, and I have to. <laughs> like those are those are 
ones I'm confident in, and Smoggy definitely. Like, Smoggy has the chance of running away with this first race. Like, yeah. absolutely running away with it. Yeah. Now, I think if, if I think if Yellow High gets ahead and gets clean air, I think they'll do really well as well. I yeah. agree with you on one simple counterpoint, and that's because Speedy has been known to take the uh, take a draft and just run with it, and he's got three marbles ahead of him to get all yeah. the draft he needs. I mean, that's but true. in that case, the same goes with yeah. Starry, and he has eight ahead and of him. And Prim, and Prim. Yeah, Why Starry's are you not has... talking about Prim? Prim, Prim, Prim because... scored more points than Starry. Like Prim is in a like Prim is in a very good position. I mean, he I did, but it was seven hundred. Position, a solid position. Well, it the thing is, Prim is in his home field. He's in middle of the pack, and he always runs ahead of the pack yeah. by the end of the race every time he does that. But if just, he's yeah. middle of the pack, he's top three every time. Yeah, no, but yeah. just to good, like kind of kind of counter your points. No, uh, Prim, think, let's talk about the track. Yeah. Now, I think how how good of a race will this track be? It's going to be. Oh, I love this track. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I, I do not like the Mini Maniacs, but I still love this track. This track is well made because you have you begin the race, you begin the race relatively mellow, but still fast. You have a couple of hairpins, and within the hairpins, you got a couple like turns that are like very slightly slight degrees turns. And that's good for, like, it, it gets you into the race. It moves the marbles around. It allows for a lot of collisions because you're having a lot of turns. It and then after fast. the marbles kind of stratify, then you then you have this this place where, you know, marbles are moving all around. Then you shoot out into this wide straight. You've got a lot of speed going there. That straight is well-placed. It goes right into the banking turn, which uh, yeah. a bank turn like that is always more effective with a lot of speed. So the, and and then um, and then when you finish with the bank turn, they do give a little bit of length coming out of the bank turn for like readjustment. So honestly, I think it's I think this race really plays to um, this is race is going to be good for fast marbles. Yeah. And this race is Absolutely. this race is going to be hard for marbles who suffer under collision, which is why I'm worried about yellow eye yeah. in this race because there's yeah. going to be a lot of collisions and a lot of marbles coming from yeah. behind who gain speed on the straight, gain yeah. speed on the bank turn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, I, I don't know, but see, watch, exactly watch, here. watch, like I said, watch the bank turn in a first wheel lapse. It's gonna be a free for all. I'm not yeah. telling you, it's gonna be a free for all. Also, yeah. watch the ramp. I, I think, think the ramp could be I interesting. I think Yellow Eye well. did do pretty good with the collisions, though, in the qualifying. Yeah. And if I they can, the if they can, easy. like, they did, like, they did really good at recovering from those from yeah, bad is. collisions that happened. Yeah, like, yeah, like. I think the like, it's just uh, the I think, frequency of the bad collisions was quite a bit. That, if they can recover not. like that, yeah, this will definitely be really good for fast marbles like C, Snowy, Grim, and Starry. Yeah, but could we? Like, yeah, I'm, hope, I'm hoping Snowy has a good race. I'm hoping yeah. Snowy jumps up at least eight positions because yeah. I think it's I think it's possible. Yeah, but can I we talk about Rasmus? Honestly, situation? I think I think Yellow. I think I think Yellow, Wine, Lime, Shock, and Momo. Are yeah. gonna go down, and then I also. Don't I think yeah, Rasmus that's is gonna go. Limers are down. not your fastest team, and that's no, 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 absolutely not. Speedy, definitely. But I think, I think, I think, I think the ramp might actually cause so much to fall off. I don't think so. It's quite hard. Speedy Mario is e. when Audi. They actually. Speedy is on yeah, but that was like, a bit different. It was a really good of a yeah, and event. don't forget about Mallard. Mallard, Mallard has gotten some medals before. He can definitely definitely step up and win this race. Yeah. I think all of top four are yeah, in it. Yeah, I agree. And Prim and Starry may be a good outside yeah. shot. Yeah, but I think, I think so. one of the yeah. reasons we have to talk about as a quite harder situation is actually Rassi, because you need to remember, Raspberry Race has had quite bad marble league, because they finished, what was it, like, 8 or 9? 14. So they, like, the fans expect a lot, and, like, they have a tendency to choke on big occasions yeah. so we need to remember mm -hmm. they could plummet a lot because they're now sixth isn't it or fifth no sixth so they could plummet down to like 16th 15th 14th it just depends on yeah, like I their state of mind like, i don't like yeah that's sixth. i yeah. don't like Raz i don't like Cle i don't like clementine i don't either i don't i think no, no, no but there is i think who is the other arranger racer this year Race for Clementine. Is it Orangin or is it Kinoin? It's Clementine. Orangin. Yeah, Kinoin sucked at racing. 
I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, the, I mean, I'll just make the point that the um, entire oh, race is 238 meters. That is quite a lot for the Marvel. That it's actually I pretty think... damn long for like a that Marvel is... race. I would say like, yeah, that's a, that is that is a that is like that is like almost, that's, that's like two thirds of the way around like a a, a human sized track because that's like about Wait, 400 no, no, no. yards. Clementine, Clementine. Oh, yeah. uh, that's about half the way around the track. There's a saving grace. There's a yeah, saving grace for yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that you know, I can't come to a little point for something, but I think I the ocean is... Clementine has really gotten, like, two fastest laps. I think... Like, two times, Clementine has gotten the fastest lap in... I think the I think the Oceaniacs tomorrow is gonna to be are gonna be the dark horses of the race tomorrow. I I can think they're gonna be the dark horses. Who did say race I didn't have? Yeah, I do like the Oceanics. I'd have to see to see. Like I I do I just, like mm. see it going up. I think like, the Thunderbolt. It's not gonna be like first. It's probably gonna, not gonna be first. We can all agree on one thing at least: the Limes are gonna do shit. The Limes are gonna do <laughs> The yeah, they're gonna. Yeah. I think the Bumblebee is for the dark horses. I think they're gonna be eliminated, not eliminated. No, so they're gonna now, get. This is Momo like... from Team Momo, so I don't. I don't. Yeah, the Momo. Limers didn't have the best qualifier, did they? Yeah. Was... I mean, I like they the Limers have... and I like Mellow Yellow, but uh, I don't have hope in in them doing anything especially I can't uh, see it. noticeable tomorrow. I mean, they're <laughs> like, good enough even... veteran teams that they didn't get eliminated, but that's literally the best they can do. Yeah. Okay, let's not let's not over. Never overstate. Let's not beat around the bush. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. Also, two of the new teams. I think it's two of the new teams. Um, got eliminated. I think that's Minty Maniacs and Cobalts. Yeah. Minty yep. Maniacs got cut out from RB1 really? and uh, and Cobalts. I just think don't have enough. Have new Cobalts was a bit of a like. A okay. Surprise okay. Package. Okay. But, but this is just the first race, so yeah. it can't really be too judgmental. Yeah. Because oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. We have yeah. a long way to go. But my my first take on those two teams is not two teams that I'm going to expect to see turn it around. Yeah. Because we can't predict anyone to win it from the first event. Like I think this is going to be an extremely chaotic race. Yeah. Oh, no. It's can important. Ask yeah. Quick, ask the question. Everyone. Who, instead of who we think we're gonna win, who's gonna be the dark horse for everyone when it comes to this first race? This like, first race, the dark horses. I'd actually think uh, Snowy for me is a dark horse that could that could be for me. It's Oceanics. Yeah. Not overlook Snowy. I would actually say Snowy is the second best racer on the season yeah. last year. Yeah, I know. On the season, they didn't qualify for the Marvel League, so they, uh -huh. it might have changed like their mentality. Yeah, but then again, that's probably, probably because they different. want Snowflake. Snowflake is killing the team. Let's yeah. be real. Yeah. I would actually True. say a Dark Horse could be actually yellow because even though he's not good under collisions, if he just like breaks away from the pact uh, in the middle of the pact and just slowly but steadily just gets forward, I think he could actually finish top three because he is a good racer, but he's right, not strong. What's the issue? Yeah. I mean, Ras is yeah. going to plummet, so are pretty yeah. much probably Mallard as well. Uh, yeah. Smoggy no, has no chance, sorry go. for that. No. I think Yellow Eye might like end up seven. about like 7th or 8th, somewhere around there. Yeah. I don't see Here's them staying me. up Clementine top. is a... Now, Clementine is something that I want to say. Like, uh, Clementine could go either way. One, Clementine is a very, very fast marble. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they've gotten fast yeah. lap. Like, I think they got, they got like they qualified for pull at seven speedway in the first season marvel one and then they also got fastest lap two other times yeah so. and then they and then they blew that pull let me remind you mm. so is that why you're picking them as your dark horse because they kind of like <laughs> they'll, they'll grab the lead no. blow no, no, it no, no, and no. get I'm it back i'm thinking nobody trust no, 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 nobody no, in no. this voice chat trust clementine Let's yeah clementine's gonna <laughs> I'm anything not gonna cross them. I'm 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 basically in between with these ones. Yeah. I'm in between. It's gonna I'm be basically, hard. I think it's either he's a Clementine's either gonna be close to first or, or close. down towards sixteenth. Yeah. It's gonna I be think Clementine's way. more of a technical racer than middle. anything though. Yeah, I think so as well. I think Clementine's the race that it's knows hard. how to take the inside turn and get out on first when he's third. Yeah. Coming into yeah, like the top though. speed is not he like really his good. best quote. He's yeah. like he can maintain a speed, but like if he sprints, you can see he starts to yeah. slow back down and keep it there. No, he's just like the 
the, the race that I, is, he doesn't need to be the quickest. Like, if it was a one-on-one -on -one spin, he would probably, he could win, he could lose. But if there's turns involved, he definitely wins. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because we got a good, good marble question here. Yeah. Would you guys, and I, okay, my answer to this is absolutely yes. But would you guys want to see an oval-shaped track from one of the tracks this year? I really want to see that. I think it would be a really good addition to kind of vary the tracks. Oh. Uh, but what do you guys How think do you that? mean? An oval-shaped track. Just oval. Is it with the, oval I, I with two bare? Like, like, just long, two long, bear, just, just long like, straight um, turn, long straight turn. I'm, oh, talking, like, fast, yeah. I'm talking fast. It could so be NASCAR. interesting, but... No, it, yeah, yeah, like a NASCAR-style track. I was I, I, about maybe circuit yeah. from Mario Kart is what I'm... <laughs> Mar <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 like that. Really yeah. Like, so, I actually am picking Ocean X as my Dark Horse team, because, honestly, like, they... Like, I think they're definitely underrated, because... Especially yeah. in like speed, like now underrated, whether underrated, the finish whether C can handle the everything. collisions, I'm not sure about that yet. Mm. But but yeah, we know C is a fast marble, so yeah. it's not the it's not the end of the world. Like it's not gonna be the it's not the end of the world that they place this low in qualifying. Like no, no. It, this entire thing, like. Honestly, this race qualifying does not matter very much. Not really like, at all. Yeah, I think like like the field will be will be definitely stratified and and like there's gonna be a lot of passing on this course like we saw in the like even in the qual like even in the qualifier races like there were was so much passing in that like. But I have, a, I have a question. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, the oval shaped ID. How would they get speed? Because if there's an oval shape, they can't really pick up any speed because that means they're gonna get like picked up at a bomb, then go up and just go down. It's just gonna be a quick race. Just put like. Well, be, some, it would be uh, a quicker ramp. track, but they would have to make it the the straights quite long, and then they could use the bank turns, and they could also have it so that it starts quite high and ends quite low. So it would yeah. be just it would be a very fast track. It but, would. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think if executed well, it could be really nice, and it would kind of give like a, a variance on the type of track we see but this year, that, and I allow think... for a lot of, of fast racing yeah, um, race <laughs> for a particular race. Yeah, it could. I think instead what? of an oval, they'd probably do like, like more of a circle, the, so, so they I'm can get more distance. I'm looking at the track right now, so I'm looking at like how much passing uh, I'm looking at how much passing Well, maybe like a variant on moves. that like instead of just an oval where it has two long straights and two curves maybe almost like a triangle shape like where it's got three long seconds. straights and three yeah. curves that could be cool because then you, you really you kind of make use of that but like look at how much you know. passing there is like well even like how many lead changes yeah I mean so if you just, be... just keep the lead if you look in turn like, one, two, three, four, and five, you can see there's so like if you just get a good turn in turn one and two, you could then possibly pass so many people if you just so get like it speedy, inside. So like speedy, so speedy gained a. No, I don't think speedy, but there's a lot of lead changes in the in that passing, like a lot of changes like in top the in the top four, top five. Yeah. Like top four of this of like this race. It's gonna be. Like there's gonna surely. be a lot. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't believe it if people said that it's going to be, uh, like very straightforward. Yeah, I think I think Clementine might win. be all over the place, but yeah. Yeah, I, honestly, I just want to make the point. It's a um, race tomorrow, right? So yeah, the race is tomorrow. The race is tomorrow at two p.m. Central. Yeah, <laughs> it's three EST. Yeah, it's. Uh... I will try to be back here again so we can do this for the real race because I'm really excited to see how I, our yeah. predictions pan out. Like I'm actually back. like I'm curious. Right, so, I want to see so if she does well. Let's be. So I want to see how many lead changes. Like this is how many lead changes that happened in two laps. Let's see, it was like how many was. I it? just want to say the marble marathon. Um, in the little like, there's the smoggy, smoggy overtakes speedy. Yeah. But there's so many, there's so much passing. Like, okay, there's a huge pass there. Like, yeah, this, this, this race is going to be. There's going to be a lot of passing. It's going to be a quick race. It's going to be a hard race, there's and it's going to be hard for changes. Reasons. Two lead changes in two laps. But whoever wins is going to be the deserved winner. Because yeah, because like there were a lot of lead changes. There were lead changes in the two laps, and then like within like 
like even outside of the lead, there was a lot of places switched in those just two laps. So like, yeah. it's, I think it's important <clears throat> to, yeah. uh, to like recognize it's going to be a game. very chaotic race. And when we you put races you put really sixteen well. marbles out, and they won the six to the yeah. the limers. I think it's yeah, any limers race. could win this race. They, they won't, can't. but they could. <laughs> they <can't. laughs> I mean, if uh, limers win, I think Biden's going to have a heart attack because he's going to be so shocked. It's going to be a if sport. limers win, Steve is going to be doing a particular action that he will yeah. not record. I mean, he could have recorded, <laughs> post some porn, and ruin his job career. So <laughs> he could, but I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, I would say that um, if, if the Limers win, I will eat a page in my moth book. That's going to be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. But I can't. Um, uh, and then I mean the notes book. I'm not going to eat the fucking class book because that's 600, that's 60 quid. <laughs> so it's, oh, sure. I, I don't have I, that money. I, I, I guess my. I, think, I guess my shoe has become a legend amongst this marble, marble race community. What? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, what I'm like, yeah, most it's, excited it's, about. I think it's going to be anybody's game. If anybody races well, then. Yeah. Anyone that's like Slime Lime. Let's re- Can I just easy. make the point? Starry got fourth in the Marble Marathon last time. Red Eye got yeah. third. There are quite minty fresh. The got first but obviously it's minty drizzle this time but still it was yeah from first in the marble marathon which is essentially a, a i think a practice. honestly i am very very uh i i'm very likely to not consider the marble marathon when talking about anything to do with marble one and the yeah. reason i'm i'm reason i'm like likely to do that is that racing in that Marble One style track? Which, by the way, I have a problem with that being the final event to begin with. But that's a different discussion for a yeah. different time. <laughs> well, I um like I am pretty upset about that. But like the um just the racing in the Marble One track in the Marble League as the last event in a long, grueling um, season um, with different teams with racers that aren't necessarily used to racing out there yeah. on the track. And, and with a different qualifying system they used in that particular um, yeah, track. And, I think and one a... of the... No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. It's like, and you can actually see yeah. this because, yeah, you can definitely see this. Like, if you, like in the actual race, like, the Oceanics did worse than, like, other teams. Yeah. In the... Now, the Minty Maniacs, surprisingly, did really well. But, yeah... But yeah, I do think yeah. If you're not used to being out on something, then you're probably gonna do worse. Now, you're probably now sometimes if nobody like if nobody has an experience with it, then then it's then it could be like a. An exciting... here's, here's how I see the mini. Here's just how I see the mini maniacs victory. The, the, the way I see the mini maniacs victory in uh, the, the the last event of Marvel League is like this. You know how like sometimes if you're like a uh, if you you're having a night. Like if you're playing a game or you're you're like doing something like a like a sport or whatever, and you're having a night where just for some reason all the luck's going in your way, and you literally don't even try yeah. anymore, and you still win. Yeah. It's that thing for the mini maniac. They just had such an unbelievable season, better than anything you could ever expect them to do. That they just got out there on the track, through didn't even overthink it, didn't think about it at all, and somehow finished well. That's how I see that. Yeah. Um. I'm still like I'm 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 very and especially with the momentum they had in that season. And then you have Marbula One, where you have to do that eight times on eight different tracks with with marbles that are way more accustomed with the qualifiers. I just don't see yeah, the that, mini maniacs being that kind of team. That's uh, why. Yeah. That's why I'm always like, that's what we keep on going back to, like teams that have done it consistently, which is kind of like get Galactic Team Primary. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Savage Speeders, you can't knock them right now. Speeders. Not enough stats to make for yeah. me to make. I am always, I'm Rangers. always the guy who tries to make an argument against the obvious winners, but I can't, <laughs> not enough stats for me to take I Savage Speeders. I always do well this year. Yeah, I think everyone Savage enjoys an underdog story. Do well. Yeah, everyone enjoys an underdog story, which is why I kind of want. To, I mean, they're not really underdogs because last time they finished sixth, which that's, is not an underdog. That's why I'm a Limers fan. Okay. I want that underdog story to happen someday. <laughs> that's why I'm a Galactic fan because we're just consistent all the time, which is I mean, quite. It's what did he fine and might annoying. Happen, right? Oh God! Galactic is not going to win. Let's oh, be honest. Oh God! People are very on the subreddit. Mm. Won't shut up about the about the host curse. Jeez. I mean. I'm just gonna say this. What, I, I don't think Galactus is gonna where win. where that's coming from. I just think that they, they don't have. They, they're just. 
They don't what, have the what experience. Is they the don't, it's anything. The Minty Maniacs. I think they really only had a very like outstanding year this year, but uh, they're not. They haven't. But, I mean, there, there must be a reason they got retired. I mean, the reason. Fair. No, they they came out of the bank turn badly. That yeah. was their problem. Yeah. And like that could happen to any marble, and I'm surprised it didn't happen to more. I, and I think it just looked bad because the Raspberry Racers flew out of that turn. And honestly, oh, yeah. there's there's been so much proof against the host curse that honestly, that mini maniacs yeah. moment and the oceanics moment are just outliers to um but... to data yeah. that doesn't show. But the thing is well, that when it comes to the host curse, it's mostly to do with the fact that when you're hosting is more like you become a perfectionist like you just want to do everything so perfect because of course it mm. happens once and everyone's gonna say oh the horse curse isn't gonna happen again so they just have like we're gonna have to focus too hard and when you focus too hard you just can't do it it's like if you study like all night and think about it too much and then you have to test and you just can't remember because you're too nervous you don't know what the answer is you just need to like take a break you can't really like say to yourself i'm gonna have to do everything perfect because you're just gonna have to do your normal routine which is what worked so many times which is why you qualified but you can't just go in and just think okay i need to do everything different because if you do you're just gonna fail yeah which is the issue yeah. when it comes I think, like i mean okay let's <clears throat> if, if, if i may say this you know yeah just like with the thing with the whole with the whole thing with the host curse you know i mean like wait, wait let's Let's be be real here. We've only had the Marble League for about five years, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. We only had a couple other events for maybe a year or two, whatever like that, right? So uh -huh. the way how I would see this, you know, statistics-wise, is that we simply do not have enough data to say, you know, if the host curse is truly real, so to speak. Well, the whole yeah. thing started after the, uh, you know... Uh -huh. Yoshi After the Oceanic disaster back in 2018. Yeah, which, I mean... Yeah. Which, oh, no, wait, 19, 19, 19, sorry, 19. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, yeah, right. And I, I'm not saying that that, that 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 isn't a thing, but, like, you know, it just... Okay, it, it... The way how I see it, just like, you know, just like politics, is that there is a whole host of factors that you have to consider, you know, yeah. with that. And it could just be that, you know, with everything going on, the Oceanic just had a pretty crappy year. But the problem was is that, you know, if you factor in the very next year, Team Galactic, you know, they were hosts and they didn't do poorly. They didn't do, you know, they didn't win, obviously, no, but, but they weren't, but they didn't do poorly. I think the reason why Galactic did it was kind of what I said. They just stick to routines, which you saw because they finished like fifth, what was it, seven times, something like that. Yeah. So, which is like just being consistent. You just follow what works. And like it has been hosts that which have done horribly, but if we factor in different sports, hosts or home teams do bad at home. Like you can see that because testosterone levels kind of increase because it's their home. They don't want anyone else coming in and beating them. That's why the phrase "beating you in your own back garden" exists because that's just something you don't want to happen. But I think, of course, in the marble league, I think it's because so many people are watching. And they just th don't know what to do because they're still a quite a new sport. That's true. Well, like I said, I wouldn't call it just yet because, uh. like I said, I mean, the way how I see it is that we simply do not have enough data. Now, let's assume we have around, we, we go, we fast forward to another five years, 2025, right? Yeah. We have 10 Marble Leagues. And well, I just want, that, can, I, can I say 2025, okay. that is the year. That I want the first Marble Con to happen. I just have to say this because you mentioned twenty twenty five. Back like two yes. years, two years ago might have been. It might have been almost two years ago at this point. And I think it was the first one to ever have this idea. I said to Mel and a couple other people, "Dude, what if we had a Marble Con like twenty twenty five? Let's say let's shoot for twenty twenty five." And then he said to me, "That's not actually that." crazy an idea that could yeah. happen. We might be able to pull it off. So uh, for anyone Marvel out there concept. who wants to do a Marble Con twenty twenty five. Um, I will, um, well, at least it was, it, the idea started here. I don't know if I'm going to be part of planning it, but I'm hoping it happens in a yeah. couple of years. That would be awesome. What that I would yeah, want to, so what I would really... want was, would be, um, marble opening concert, which would be fucking amazing. A live performance from a, from a, uh, yeah. like, uh, artist. A famous marble Even though that's scene. very unrealistic and I don't know how they would, I, what, how I would do it is put. Live small... marble sports. Yeah, but. Live how marble would they, sports. That yeah, exists. Yeah, you know. 
But yes. if, if, here's, if here's another factor you guys have to consider, you know, how would they pull off, for example, because, you know, there's going to be just like any real, okay, just like any, you know, sports team, right? They're going to have fans who want, you know, to collect their merch, want to buy their merchandise and get signatures, you know, get autographs, right? And, yeah, you know, signatures, right? I'm hoping, I'm hoping if Marble Con 2025 was set up, it would be planned and I would hope to be part of the planning, but what I oh, would yeah. do is I would plan it to give, okay, for autographs wise, I would designate a particular important member of the community to be in charge of each team, being as like their overseer yeah. or coach or whatever, not necessarily to choose who um, competes where, but to kind of like be the person who, you know, runs the merch and gives the autograph and, and, and stuff like that. And then within the actual, there'd be like a, some sort of stadium where the live events would occur and um, engineers, um, I am actually studying to be an engineer in college right now, and other engineers would band together to make really um, high tech equipment that would be able to very smoothly, um, for like a marble league, cycle the marbles through when it's their turn, and just and it would, it, uh, so things could all work really smoothly during the live event, yeah. and things could work smoothly in the booths for different teams outside of live event. Each team would have their own little flair, like go to the Jungle Jumpers booth, there'd be like a fucking tree there or whatever, but. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like yeah, a monkey. Course, yeah. I don't. I mean, know? it's like it would be great. I mean, if we well, take it that way, then it's gonna be a bit hard for Team Galactic because I don't think we can have a room without any atmosphere and. We it's savage speed. That's what we yeah, yeah, but it's it's savage, it's then savage cool. speed is gonna have a full room full of speed. Yeah, fire and, <laughs> and rice can merge. Oh, a Marvel guy. Um, <laughs> a Marvel guy? Hello? Hello? I'm just kidding. I'm here. Can I take one real quick? So Marble guy. Um, just, I'm Marble just, guy. I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, I wanted to put this out there for you just because, like, actually, one thing which I do on the side is actually running events. You know, right now, of course, during the pandemic, I can't run, you know, physical events right now. But I have run a few physical events, and I have run several virtual events already. So, and I know, obviously, you know, uh, I would, um, I know I'm still relatively new, but if you know, uh, if MarvelCon, you know, does actually happen or is planning, I would love to be part of that. You know, helping the set up operation. Yeah. So, I think everyone would. If, it, if we ever get to the point where we're seriously planning it, um, uh, I will, and I'm, and I'm part, I happen to be part of that planning, then I will definitely make sure I talk to you guys about helping plan for that. We will need a lot of help. Yeah. If that oh, yeah. does happen. Oh, yeah. I yeah, can't because... guarantee it. I just know it's it's a possibility and it's something I want to do. I live my life each day expecting a Marvel Con in twenty twenty five. That's just how I live. I mean like I'm hoping yeah. it happens, but I think we can. I, um if, but it will take some time. If the world lives that yeah. long. Yeah. Uh, because you know, what was it? I mean it's gonna be it's it will be very it, it'll be very interesting to definitely to see that and such. But yeah. like um oh, would. Anyway, um I was going to say too. Um, I see the other thing that I that I think. Um, oh, I want to say this real quick too. It's like um, well, I never got to finish this. So what got me to be a Hazers fan? I told you was when I saw the Hazers. You know, do the water events. You know, because they just oh, yeah. had this weird, crazy glow, and it's like that just looks so cool. They good on the water. Like... Marvel has that. Yeah, I mean that. that quite... I mean, Galactus was more for me like the team that was before an underdog. Now they're consistent, and I th hope they would go that way. For a long time, but the the um, other reason is mostly to do with the fact that Team Galactic just has that flair to it that I just I don't think many teams have because they can be shit and good at the same time. It's like they're gonna be like last place, then go to first place, then back to second. It's like which other team does that? Oh, and and for Laplace, of course. So I mean, look at the last. Okay, look at what happened with a lot of the races. Like what was it? Um. The um the marble what was it no like the rally, yeah. orange no or, or no the um no mean... the rangers nearly had that and guess who yeah. guess who cut them off the marble league twenty eight seventeen was there seventeen eight and sorry I think about yeah. sorry she started at around what was it sixteenth or twelfth place yeah and she got all the way up to fourth place yeah and even you know. more recently when there was the marble marathon uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna search it up quite quick like they finished. F uh, it was f fifth or fourth. I can't remember in like on the top of my head. I think it was fourth, and this started like at fourteenth, twenty sixteenth, then just dropped further and further, and then suddenly the last like I would say fifteen to twenty like uh, rounds, they just started gaining and gaining and gaining more. So yeah, exactly. 
But no. of, of course, that's over a longer period. Actually, they started at 11th. That wasn't that bad, but I want to see when the last time they were lost. Yeah, lap 14, they were 14th. And then 19 laps later, they were 4th. Which is yeah, an right. average of 1.7 almost. So, yeah, so I mean, no, no, in not terms 0.7 of 0.7 gained. So, 1.7, that would mean they would be above first. No way. Yeah, I actually got zeroth place. Yeah, I'm just that good. <laughs> yeah. But, of course, I'm a Galactic fan, so I'm always going to support him, whatever, what. So, it's, of course, hard for me oh, to look question, at this. You know. uh, like, that's hard with any commentary because everyone's have their favorite no one has a team that they don't like yeah and that they like can look at and be like yeah i love everyone and that's like i think even greg woods even though he's an amazing commenter uh commenter he just he's quite good yeah he is he's he brilliant is really good yeah but yeah. the issue is that of course he's been there the entire way so he has teams i've seen risen and fallen like the rojo ro rollers but it's like you, I think he has a team that he likes, but, yeah, but he I think can't he, admit uh, it. No, he can because as a, as one of the as ma the main boys of yeah. the Marble League, he just can't do it. Um, yeah. Oh, and um, I don't know. Yeah, absolutely, it, 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 it has to be impartial the whole time. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> the issue with commentary. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think he, if he does have a favorite team, he definitely doesn't. Um, he doesn't like the Limers, definitely. Uh, mostly due with the fact that they, their fans literally broke down the barriers and invaded the field when they did qualify. They are the most toxic fan base in whole Marvel Like, league. you can't That's do it. that either way. Like, you sit down, you be angry with you, you spat, spit your anger at, on Twitter or whatever. You can't just burn down the field and, and assault off, assault like security and shit like that. You can't do that either way. No, no. I, I would, I was supporting that them a ban for the fans for a few events because it's like you can't do that that's dangerous like someone could get really hurt you could have like how are the fans supposed the races supposed to be happy like or oh, it's well, you like, know one thing i've, got, I've just noticed about one boy 2020 yeah. there were no fan streakers there were no fan streakers every year i got a fan streaker but not, nothing this year. i actually think there were one but no he, there wasn't there wasn't any no like, maybe not I mean, b that's the thing with Galactic fans. I think most of them are quite polite. Because, of course, we aren't really used to winning anything. Like, of course, we have yeah. a few medals. The last time we won a medal, which was in the yeah, but Marble Olympics the Limers, or the Marble yeah, League, was yeah, 2017. But yeah, but the Limers, the team itself is, is bad, so they are pretty yeah. much final. So like, they are bad and pretty much terrible fans, so no wonder why no one likes them. Yeah, the only time, like, the most amount of medals we won in, like, the Marble League or the Marbler won is two, which is, of course, still quite a bit, because, like, it's eight races in the Marbler, Marbler one, but it's still not a lot, because we've seen teams like, yeah, like, teams like Savage Speeders and Rangers who win, like, usually four golds when it comes to the Marble League. We don't. So I think we yeah. just are used to like bad results, which does mean that we just don't really care if we do well or bad. But you see also teams that do very well, like the Savage Speeders and the Rangers, even though they're used to good results and when it gets bad, they can be annoyed. They still know that they're not supposed to run on the field because that just brings out anger and venom in people. It's just not how you're supposed to support a team. No, like, I mean, um, well, I will say this. Okay, now, how much do you guys want to bet, though? If the Oceanics ever get, get gold, ever yeah. get gold in a water event, yeah. okay, that will be, the that will be, I think, one of the few times where that is acceptable. And how much do you guys want to bet that every marble in the stand will be standing up and applauding them? I think, I mean, oh, yeah. Ooh, the, the, yeah, that would be a big, it depends. For, um... Do Marble stand when they support or do they say it? It's yeah. a bit I mean, hard. to be fair, on this standing anyway. Uncomfortably. <laughs> we don't even know their gender. Like, I like to think they're guys because they have balls, but 
It's like <laughs> I like that. that I like that. But <laughs> how do they reproduce? Actually, I don't want to well, ask, so... ask. I don't want anyone no, no, to ask that question. Not. Just please. No, I feel don't. like their gender. I feel like their gender comes out a little bit because, like, here. Okay, so I do. Um, I do a little Marvel sports commentary myself. So when I, I was doing one, right, and um, the gender so... fluid. Sometimes their names lend themselves to females. So, like, I remember one one of the names of one of the Marvels was Crimson Lady. So I call, I would always go with she for that one. And one of the names, and then, of course, names that sound more masculine, I go with masculine. So it kind of fl- just how does it that flows, flows how, smoothly. How does that work like when Team Galactic is, like, is. Starry, Cosmos, Pulsar, Black Cosmos? Starry, Starry, honestly, I'd probably end up going she, Cosmos, yeah. and end up going he. Like, it would just, no, just kind of flows I'm out. Pretty, no, just I'm, pretty, in, I'm pretty sure it says Starry and Pul- Pulsar is Starry's brother, the younger brother, and yeah. Starry's female. Yeah, that might if happen. If you read the roll, if you read the roll out, like, like it's Pulsar, because it's, it's Cos, probably. it's yeah. Cosmos, Starry, Astro, Astro is a male name. I don't want to hear anything that is a male name. Pulsar yeah. and then Quasar. It's like we don't know what their name is. I mean, I'm still a bit shocked that Cosmos, even though he's one of our orange members, is captain because I thought like, is he the captain type? And he might be, but he doesn't go to every event. But, of course, this is not really about me spatum, spitting like facts about Team Galactic. We're here because of the M1. No, I don't know why it drifted off there, but either way. Uh, they, yeah. could do, they could do well, and, or they could do shit. Either way, I'm just happy we're not the Limers. <laughs> because... No one wants to be the Limers. No That's... one wants to be the Limers. Even the Limers anyway, don't um, want to be the Limers. Hey guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get going. But I do want to say it's been really awesome talking marbles with you guys. Yeah. That's been really fun. So, um, and I want to say for, um, you know, I, I, as I mentioned before, I run the the Marble Sports Worldwide podcast. If any of you guys would be interested in guesting because you like talking marbles, just reach out to me. Guessing. I would always be down for that. Sure, I can. We are hitting. We are hitting episode seventy four. Yeah, this that's almost seventy five. I just have to <laughs> like I have to ask if it's yeah. okay because I've been uh-huh. recording the entire time because I'm planning on doing a marble goggle box, which is just us spitting facts. If it's okay Dude, if yeah, I play no, it. That sounds, that I was, I was sounds fine. I'm glad to be here for yeah. that recording, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because... but yeah, like, um, if, if any of you are interested in that, just reach out. I'm sure we can work something out. Because y'all, yeah. y'all, yeah, y'all uh, have some really interesting thoughts, Marble Sports-wise. I'm, I'm really, also, I was really happy Marble with, like, guy, how many I, y'all... I'm pre- I see the scene you on Kino saw Air Lounge somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> see you what? I think I've seen you on either the Kino or the Air Lounge somewhere. I yeah. don't know, I might just be making that up. Yeah, because I wait, wait. I don't know what you mean. Like, what? Do you, what? Do you, keynotes, on Discord what? servers, maybe not then. I yeah. don't know. I I tried to be. Or what do you mean? Never yeah. mind. Because <laughs> I, sh- I was wrong. No, 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 no. Wait. wait. Yeah. I'm pretty. Wait, can you like type wrong. it out? Because I just couldn't understand like what what words you were saying. So yeah. I just type it out. So I can maybe I can understand. Oh, thanks for that. Um. Yeah. You might. I might have been there. I just don't know what you were saying. So I just want to make sure I know. <laughs> yeah. Because, like. I like I tried for many like I tried to be at every like in the Discord server every Oh 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 geometry dash you mean. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big player. I'm a big player. I just beat down base recently and um I have a channel and everything. If you go if you click on my name I think you'll see the channel. Like yeah. I'm I'm big yeah. into the game. I'm yeah. quite good. I'm not that good, but I'm quite good. Yeah. Um <laughs> like So you can check that out, Cam. Because I was uh, during the entire summer. There was two events where I couldn't make it to the Discord server because I was in Denmark on holiday. I know, Corona. It was a green country. It isn't now, but n- I was here all the time, and I'm pretty sure like it was one hit with two people that I was there all the time. Was Steve and Marble Guy. They were after every event and during every event, so they know their shit. Is that that way? Oh, yeah. I've been, I've been analyzing Dude, I've been Marvel Sports since, Marvel, since uh, I've been watching Marvel Sports since 2017. Yeah, I joined I've been the same time. 2016. I've been over analyzing on a weekly show since 2019. It's been yeah. we've I've been doing the show for like a year and a half. It's been going for a long time, yeah. and every week we just bring out, we just analyze and discuss the events. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's it's like I don't know. It's been it's awesome. I don't know. I don't know why. I just love the whole. Analyzing Marble Sports and kind of stuff. Yeah, might not. You know, I've got yeah. this book. I might just call it the Marble Book and take notes. Yeah, yeah, like, that'd be really I mean, cool. Just so we and have, I, like, I have to, information, guy, Marble guy. Um, I do have to say this too. Okay, let's. If we're taking a step back, this is what I'm. You know, 
if we're taking a step back from everything, like to me, what makes it so engaging, you know, is when you go to, to you know, the blog, right, where I believe Sin, he actually writes like, you know, all the stuff, you know, for all the different teams, and he does like yeah, the yeah. interview and stuff like that. I'm not joking, you know, when I when I was directed to that, I'm reading through like the team and how he is like that. It it feels like you know Sin. It's like kind of like you know an ambassador or like a PR officer for you know kind yeah. of like you know the equivalent of like you no know, the IMC the International Olympic Committee right, mm -hmm. and he's yeah. going there he is meeting up with the different teams he's doing his promotion he is meeting these athletes and such, and I'm not kidding you, at the what what I'm like reading through everything and you know credit of course to how he writes and such, like it it, it makes them feel like you know they're real. And yeah, like, no, okay, absolutely, actually, dude. Feel, like at the end of reading those blogs, I actually forget that you're you're basically reading about marbles. But like yeah. to me, it feels like you know the it's real. Well, yeah, <clears throat> it yeah. feels like you're reading about like, actual beings that are actually practicing in the off season and yeah. actually drafting new coaches and blah 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 blah. I, yeah. I totally understand and, and and agree with that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, like you know, I mean, just like any real thing, you know, yeah, they're like you know, they're the underdogs. They're like you know, the little backdoor politics a little bit. They're like you know, the, the team dramas and such. But you yeah. know, I mean, them, you know, all like you know, personalities and stuff. Yeah, I'm know, pretty like, sure we're just. Yeah. I'm pretty sure within a year or two, it's gonna be a Marvel scandal, which is gonna be like a scandal between maybe oh, yeah. fixing yeah. or things like that. It's gonna happen. It happens in every sport and. Even well, yeah. some well, people well, don't want to accept it, but the Marvel dude, dude, sport dude, listen, franchise listen, is listen, the sport. Listen, listen, it already happened in another Marvel show, which we're not going to name. Yeah. Because we have, like, big scandals in every sport, like, in... It has yeah. happened, but it happened in every, on, another, on another Marble channel, which in we every sport, like, like we have the Slate Gate in the going, NFL. For, for real, so I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. We'll yeah. uh, we'll pick up the yeah. uh, off and yell about marbles. It's yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I'm yeah. gonna have to yeah. go yeah. soon because I've been recording yeah, so, for one hour yeah. fifteen you know minutes soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, folks, I have yeah, one hour ten for me. Yeah, I hope I, I hope I see everyone here tomorrow as well. But yeah, bye. I hope you have a nice yeah. evening. Yeah, so yeah, having a good night, and mm -hmm. I'll see you. Bye.